So we're setting it down with 120 grit. We'll remove the door handles, mass off the rubber. We're gonna take the side plate, protection armor on the side and paint that black. Gotta take off the tail lights, take off the roof rack, take off the mirrors. Start to sand a little bit on the fenders here. Starting to get it masked up, got all the body work done. Get ready to wrap the line it. We use red oxide primer to do the body work just because we're painting it red. Hopefully later on the night we'll have uh, have new paint on it. Hopefully. Getting ready to mask everything off. All sanded. We're uh, putting some grease and wax remover on it right now. That's what Patrick's doing. You can see how this does in direct sunlight. Don't know. A little warm out today, but we'll see. all prepped and ready to go i think we'll be uh shooting some uh, raptor line this in the next uh 20 minutes or so so here's the color we're using it's uh for our uh, tint colors, Colorado Red. This is a factory uh, color.
little clip here. We're gonna put some holes in here. That way the, when we, that way when we pour from here into our measuring devices, or measuring, or pour into our cups, it'll drain back through those holes. Open up the hardener. Okay. Gonna shift this a little bit. We're gonna fill it to that line there. So now we're gonna add the hardener to the wrapper liner. And we're gonna fill it to this line. It's about down to here, right about here. We're gonna fill it up to this indentation. This looks like. That's it. Now we're gonna add two ounces of color. At least that's what our uh, dealer told us to do. So that's what we'll do. So two ounces on here is right there. Let's put in two ounces. is right there is two ounces the other one's a mix, mixing ratio right there then we're going to pour this into here the lid back on and we get a paper towel. Then we shake it for two minutes. Okay. Wrapped our liner. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Two minutes of this. I'm going to be really skinny by the time we're done with this. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Might need a flashlight. Okay, we got the Raptor liner all set up. Put our air hose on. We have the adjustable tip. We turn this out two turns. This gives us. We want the least. We want the least amount of roughness. So, let's go test this on this fender. That's an 80 pound. I'm going to do 45 pounds here. Which one, Patrick?
to the other side. Okay, there's our first bottle. Makes up another one. Seems like they're running out.
There she is. There she is. She's all right aligned. Just waiting to let it dry. We pulled off a little bit of the masking, but still not quite dry. And we only finished about 10 minutes ago. Let it dry. So far, we're pretty happy with it. Let's see how it turns out. All put together. It does spray on very easy. It's a little warm out here for us. We sprayed this at 80 pounds. We're trying to get the texture not so bumpy. I think we achieved it with the 80 pound on the um, the adjustable gun. Again, we uh, turned that out two turns from in, turn it out two. From the directions, you can turn it four or eight, you'll get a, a rougher pattern. So, and there she is. I like the color, it's the factory color. So, we just gotta put her back together. We gotta put the armor on, we gotta take the armor yet. You know, paint that hot rod black or semi black, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, thanks guys. We've all been wrapped the line. Just gotta clean it all up, put it back together. Looks pretty good, got tires back on. I think it's about, uh, I don't know, maybe three hours or so. To do the whole thing. Just gotta put the grill back on. Just sit in there and clean it all up. Overall, came out really good. I'm real happy with it. Still kind of a little tacky, not much. Just got to finish flashing down. But yep, yeah, so far, real happy with it.